I'm Brandon with Redstone Solar, and in this video, I am going to be reviewing the highest performing solar panels on the market. Now, I've narrowed this down to five or six of the premium solar panel manufacturers. If you think there's a solar panel that's missing off of my list, comment below and I will give you my two cents. I'm gonna try to do 60 seconds on each one of these manufacturers, and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna recap and give out three awards. The best looking, the best performing, and the best value. First up, Sun Power. I wanted to include the A-Series. This solar panel is available in black and white. It is also available as an AC module. You can expect a wattage output from 390 to 420. Um, something that is special about this panel, it is a rear contact. Sun Power has found a way to put these wires on the back side of the cell. And this gives the panel a, a unique matte black, just clean look. And this feature is exclusive to Sun Power and also LG that we'll get into later. Sun Power is extremely exclusive. If you want Sun Power panels, you are going to have to reach out to a contractor that is a Sun Power dealer. The Sun Power A series is by far the most expensive solar panel that you can purchase. If you're looking for the best and you're looking for premium um, Sun Power obviously offers that let's go ahead and check out the next on my list Tesla they are becoming one of the most popular solar panel options out there historically Tesla had a contract with Panasonic for whatever reason that contract with Panasonic is gone Tesla is now advertising a panel on their website. If you kind of scroll down here to specs, they have this mystery black panel. It's a 340 watt panel. I'm gonna take a stab at what this panel is. So solar panels are like snowflakes. Every single solar panel is slightly bigger, smaller, shorter, fatter, wider, and taller. I went and did some research and I found that the um, Q-Cell G6 is the exact same dimensions as what's advertised on here. My best guess is currently Tesla is using white labeled Q-Cell panels. Q-Cell makes a fantastic solar panel. Is it premium? No. And that's where I have a problem with Tesla. If you go to their website, the homepage, they're currently advertising lowest cost in America, money back guarantee. You could buy three 340 watt Q-Cell panels for the same price as one 420 watt sun power panel. That'll give you an idea of the price difference there. Tesla is not premium. Tesla is value. Let's jump over to the next one, Panasonic. They recently killed their HIT model line. Panasonic has now released their new Evervolt module. They have a 370 and a 360 watt panel advertised. They come in black and they come in white. This is a crazy good panel. If you go over and look at the spec sheets, it has a fantastic temp coefficient. The uh, panel efficiency is way up there at the top. The strength of the panel is rated at 7,000 pascals. One thing to note, this panel looks extremely similar to the REC Solar Group Alpha series. And that is because the same people who are manufacturing these panels for REC are going to be manufacturing these panels for Panasonic. They are currently selling their panels in black and in white. Um, there is a 375 watt module and there is a 365 watt black module. Um, they have the same low temperature coefficient and I don't think it'll be very long before this panel's at 400 watts. So next on the list, we have the LG Neon R Prime. So this panel is going to be extremely similar to the Sun Power A series. This panel is a rear contact. So it has that beautiful matte look. It just seems to sink into your roof. This panel is rated at, um, looks like they have the 200 or the 385 watt on their website. Um, but my last 
shipment has been the 380s. I think we'll be able to expect, you know, 400 and 400 above um, later 2021 and 2022 to try to compete more with um, Sun Power's 420 watt panel. In my opinion, it's the best looking panel on the market by far. Another thing to take in consideration, it is extremely expensive. It's not quite as expensive as the Sun Power A series, but it's close. Next up, we have the Solaria Power XT. Solaria is a new manufacturer. This product has only been out for a few years and it is blown up in the market. They're completely changing the traditional solar panel. Uh, the traditional solar panel, you have these solar cells, these thin uh, wafers, usually a six by 10 for 60 cells. Solaria is saying, no, let's get more surface area utilized on the panel. So they take cells and they actually chop them up, slide them together, and they really maximize the surface area on the panel. So this panel is not available in white. It's only available in black and it looks sleek. Along with that, the wires that are on the front are really thin silver wires and they aren't very reflective. Um, they give a very matte black looking appearance from the road. My only complaint about Solaria, they're not necessarily using premium cells. They're buying some lower grade cells and they are chopping them up and they're slamming them on a bigger square solar panel. Something that is completely new for the solar industry is bigger is better. And solar panels are getting bigger. Just to give you an idea, traditionally solar panels were about 40 inches wide and maybe 65 inches tall. Uh, this panel is 63 inches tall, eh, two inches shorter, but it's 47 inches wide. So 400 watts is 400 watts, but it's not necessarily the highest quality cells on the market. Panasonic, REC, LG, SunPower, they're all light years ahead of Solaria when it comes to the actual cell manufacturing, but Solaria has found a different way to do it. They found out how to utilize every last inch of the panel and fit more on it and make it slightly bigger, but compete. Um, award number one, best looking solar panel, LG. LG by far makes the cleanest, looking panel. I'll overlay some drone footage I've taken of these panels, but they are just matte black, clean, just aesthetic. It doesn't get any better. And the SunPower A-Series, they're right there too. They have the very similar um, appearance. The second award, highest performing panel, that would go to the SunPower A-Series. It's a 420 watt panel rated at 22.5% efficiency. That panel is the white on black version and the white on black version doesn't look as aesthetic as the black on black, but nobody even comes close to 420 watts and 22.5% efficiency, panel efficiency. The last award for best value is going to go to REC. REC Solar Group, their alpha panel, the white on black version is by far the best value. It has the lowest temperature coefficient. So if you live in areas that are really hot, that panel is going to perform at a higher wattage than the competition at that temperature. So the price is lower than SunPower and LG, but the performance is really close. If this was helpful information, please like the video. If you're interested in seeing other videos, please subscribe to our channel. And if this was genuinely helpful, I mean, it saved you time and money researching and helping you decide what solar panel you want on your home. I would appreciate it if you bought me a beer. Head over to my channel on the right hand side. There'll be a donation where you can buy me a beer. Nothing too fancy, maybe a $3 beer. Anyway, I don't know how to sell you on this, but buy me a beer. Thank you.